Today we're in Seattle, Washington for Greenwood Car Show. The Greenwood Car Show. There are thousands of people here, 30 blocks of classic cars. Let's check it out. Send me love in a package labeled dynamite I wanna feel any buzzing when I hold it tight I got a power of perception I'm waiting for you when You come back to your loving baby's arms again Hi, I'm Duke Bossanova And I'm Lola Bossanova And this is our Bossanova life Lola, did you find one of your favorite rides? I did. I'm Lincoln always on Lincoln Continental the on airbags. Continental. She loves these cars. Is this yours? Oh. I was ask you about it. Check with Chevy's the 40s. Brent Tagabrot. And where are you from, Brent? I'm from Briar, Washington. Tell us a little bit about this amazing ride you got. Uh, this is a 69 Hearst SC Rambler. Uh, I don't see too many of these around anymore. No. <laughs> so what are you running out of the hood? We're running a coyote in this car. <laughs> How many horsepower is that? Uh, it made 400 at the wheels. So did you get it in this condition? No, I restored it. Oh, wonderful. So what was it like when you got it? It was pretty original, but it was pretty wore out. Wore out. Is this the original paint combination? Uh, this is the B scheme for the SC Rambler. They yeah. also made an A scheme. Right. Yep. So you kept it original. I love that. That's what we yep. were all about. Yep. All right. So the, the most important question of all is how often do you get to take this out and drive it? Quite often in the summertime. So yep. I, well, it is Seattle. It rains a lot up here. Yep. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> So much lower. They're sexy. They're just sexy they cars. Yeah. They're badass. Cruising around. They got around. the suicide doors in the back yeah. always. I've always been a sucker for those. Mm -hmm. That is a clean interior too. The feelings. It looks OG. <laughs> How are you doing today, fine sir? Good. And what is your name? My name is Brian. And then what have we got here? 1972. Opal Manta A. Wow, like I said, the minute I saw this car, I'm like, it's not an American classic, but this is definitely a rare classic. It's a German import. Yeah, and you said it's the only one in the state of Washington. It's one of one. Wow. You tune it with a laptop. It's got <laughs> Micro Squirt 3 in it. Wow, so you've completely rust modded this. Everything. Every square inch has been redone. So it's very drivable, though, right? Yes, sir. So what condition was it in when you got it? Really bad. Oh, these, these are the stories everyone this likes one, to hear. This one's been gutted all the way. Okay. So where did you find it? California. California, and then you had it brought up here. Shipped up here. Is this an original color for an Opal? No. This is a custom, or it's not custom, it's a stock 1970 Chrysler Hemi Orange. Okay, right that's what it looks camp. like. Yeah, all right. Well, this thing is definitely a showstopper. Uh, I love it. So is this something that you grew up with? What inspired you to get the Opal? I'm mechanically yeah. inclined, and I liked one of one of a kind. <laughs> you like the rare cars. Yeah, I like love it. How many horsepower did you drop on this thing? 100 horsepower to 117 foot-pounds of torque to the rear wheel with an automatic. But it's a custom build all the way. It's not stock by any means. Mm -hmm. No, I could tell I, by looking at it. I this put thing is 50 amazing. grand into this thing. It's the only Opal This is that's definitely a show 50 car. grand. There's not it. one yet that's like it. No. Like I said, I go to car shows all over the U.S. I've never seen another one like it. Had to stop, yeah. Well, thank you so much for cool. bringing it today and letting us all take a thank look you. at it. You're welcome.
flathead power. Nice ride, my man. Yeah, it is. To today, the Mercury you get close to the or... you get close to the Canadian border. Yeah. That is clean. There's a lot of clean cars up here in Seattle with all original interiors. I am loving it. Well, how are you today, fine sir? Good. And what is your name? Dave Long. And where are you from, Dave? Uh, Gig Harbor, Washington. Gig Harbor. I know that's not too far away. I've been there yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> and what have we got here? It's a 1958 Voyager wagon. I love it. And as you said, how many did they make? 568. 568. So there's probably only a dozen of them still in the there's room. There's only two of us that I know of that's been restored. A third possibly in Toronto. Okay. Um, but the other one that was restored, Paul Walker had in his collection when he died. Wow. So, but we don't know where it ended up. Well, this one is clean, clean, clean. Thanks. Did you do this yourself? Uh, with the help of a lot of talented people. <laughs> <laughs> so what condition was it in when you got it? It was pretty bad. Pretty bad? It was a full frame off eight year restoration. Oh, eight years. Yeah. Wow. And is this original color scheme? Nope. Nope. It's a little bit off. Thank you. Uh, okay. Just, it kind of matches more of the green glass and the green interior than yeah, the, than yeah. the original like The gray. green looks a little darker than yeah. I would yeah. expect. Yeah. And it has kind of an looks. olive tint to it yeah. in, in the daylight. I love it though, so, for sure. Yeah. yeah. It looks like you're ready to go camping in it with the kids. That's what the original family did. They took it camping. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So uh, what are you running under the hood? It's a Mel 383. Okay. Stock, everything on this is stock from all front stock. to back. Yep. Man, all I love original. this more and more all the time. So yeah, and did you have to redo the interior as yeah. well? But that's exactly what came in it. I mean, SMS. It, it yeah. looks stock, but it's way too clean to if, be stock. Yeah, if, the, if you look at the old pictures that the original family sent or the son sent me, it's the exact same interior. So. I love it. I always uh, got to stop for a unique ride like this, so I appreciate you bringing it Thanks. today, man. Thank you. You bet. You bet. Thank you. <laughs> I can see you zipping around really on this bad boy. Cute. You'd be rambling around in it. Yours is this amazing T bird over here. I'm the T bird guy. Yeah, that's a gorgeous that's a gorgeous ride, finds her. I don't see too many in this color. Fiesta red. It's kind of a salmon y. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But they weren't Northwest people. <laughs> That's right. That. It's a Northwest color. All the same.
Okay, I don't normally come on to talk about what we're going to be looking at, but this is not an American car, but these are two incredible not to show, and I have to I have to show you guys these amazing Datsuns. We got one guy. That is a rare row of cars. And it goes all the way up the road. Wow. Incredible. May get a look at the oil. I'm going to sneak right. Okay, let's go. No touch. No. <laughs> I know. No touch. Buddy. How's it going? So, what is that grill off of? Well, the grill is Corvette. It's 57 Corvette. It's just the whole front end so modified the grill doesn't look like it's Corvette. Really? As a, yeah. as a, it almost looks like you took the grill off of something else. Nope. You just modified it that much. Nope. Uh, you know, the front's been modified. The, the headlights are 63 and 4 Buick Riviera running lights. Okay. Um, yeah, just Well, I, lo I love it. I know Corvette guys probably may not as much appreciate More it, like it than not, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Purists, but you know, some purists even. I had yeah. a guy that was an NCRS judge. He goes, he's been doing it for 35 years and just retired. Mm. And I'm like, uh-oh. And he goes, you know, I love your car. And I'm just like, cool. That Made my day. I, uh, our channel, we do custom culture stuff, mostly 365. And, and I oh, don't okay. do a lot of Corvettes because they're usually not customized that much. Right. This is so amazing. Well, this work, it. now the paint job's new. But the body yeah. work was done in 1967. Oh, really? Yeah, by a guy in Portland, Vaughn so, Hunter. Uh, um, so and he stayed with fiberglass. But uh, it was done by a guy in Portland named Vaughn Hunter, and he apprenticed under George Barris. Okay. Barris is the original yeah. Batmobile, the monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he was good friends with uh, and apprenticed under Barris. <laughs> That's a nice ride, sir. Mm -hmm. Somebody earlier was looking at one of these steering wheels and going, well, how were the steering wheels so big back then? I go, they didn't have power steering. This one does. <laughs> now, now it does. You've stepped it up. No. It came, it came with it. Oh, yeah. Nice. What, what year is this? 54. 54. It, it's my wife's car. It was, this is what they call the height of luxury in 1954. It is, yes. It was. I mean, come on, look at that. The styles on the lines. Yep, and all, it was also a race car. Did what? you see the picture? I did not. On the poster? Yeah, I love it. Have you, how long have you had it? I found it as a project car in uh, 2018. Okay, I was, think, I was thinking maybe you really got a race in it back then. No. <laughs> <laughs> was it pretty rough when you found it? Uh, yeah, it had been sitting outside since 1970. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you brought it back for yep. sure. Is this original colors? Yes, Regal Red. Wow, it's gorgeous, man. I it love it. Regal. And what do you got under the hood? It's got a Lincoln motor. And it's really souped up. We like to hear this. Is this is this what they used to race it? Yeah, there's a picture of the race car. That's that, that was my car out as well. Wow. From that to this. Oh, wow. The hood should have been open when I walked up. This is gorgeous. Can you get off of that? Wow, that is pretty. That is clean too. Yeah, clean and pretty. I like this. That is a nice ride. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you brought it. So what is your name? Roger. And where are you from, Roger? Kent. Kent. Oh nice. Close by. Get the car out of the garage. <laughs> and when they uh Tiger uh Hemmings did an article on this. Oh, yeah. And when they, uh, they opened up the door, I said, there's a Volvo power baby. It's, 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 it's the Volvo of Russia. The Skoda. Well, this threw me off, though. I was like, you know, I saw a Volvo next to it. My brain just made that connection. Wow, this is super rare. Volkswagen owns them. We well, don't know how many classic cars are here today, but there are 30 blocks of cars, and we've already gone through about 10 of those already, and I've already killed a battery in this thing, so that tells you how many interviews and cars we're capturing.
Hey, what is your name? Uh, Mark. Okay, and what have we got here? It's a 66 Dodge Camp Wagon. I know, I don't see too uh, many of these around anymore. <laughs> no, the top is too, uh, is, they only did the top for two years and then they switched them to fiberglass after that. So, oh, really? Yeah, so for two years, I'm going to say, I think I may have seen one before. Yeah, 64, 65. Mm -hmm. so, I yeah. love it. So how long have you had it? About five or six years. Five, was it in this condition when you got no, it? No, it was pretty rusty. Pretty needed, rusty. Needed work. Yeah. Right. So did you? But it ran. You, you got it all painted and I put did back the together. Paint. A friend of mine did the body, did the rust repair, and I did and all it, the paint. This looks like original color scheme. It is. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. The two tones original. It was this color underneath some really bad black paint. Oh, so, so many put some lacquer on it. <laughs> I decided to. Well, I was, you know, somebody made it into a flat black hot rod kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. I put it back to its. And was the was colors. the camps and everything in yeah, it still? Yeah, this was all in there. Yeah, I replaced the floor, wow. repainted the inside. And you can even tell it's the original Norcal. Yeah, it's old. Uh, uh, love that. And I had to fix that. It didn't quite work. So, well, we do we do uh, pre sixty five cars, but we also do vintage trailer rallies. So I'm oh, very nice. familiar with. How the oh, inside yeah, of this yeah. should look. So this is a yeah, pretty uh, unique combination here. I love not, it. Uh, originally, it would have been the Travco interiors, but somebody mm -hmm. swapped it out at some point. Yeah. So. Well, I love it. I'm glad you're bringing it back. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. We're using it. Thank you. <laughs> oh really? Oh. Duster. I mean, it is very purple. It is. It is very purple. <laughs> it's very purple. You know, purchase. Now these are super rare because they drove these things to death back in the day. Little work trucks, basically. Clean though. Some clean machines right here. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Give me flashbacks to being a kid. It's not a Rocket 88, it's a Super 88. <laughs> That looks pretty original though. It is. Is this the original paint on it as well? It is, yeah. Wow. That's a survivor right there. Yes, it is. I love it. My uncle owned it. Oh, wow. He got it from his uncle. So this has been three generation car right here. Three generations. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the original motor and everything. It is. It's been uh, rebuilt. But yeah. It's, I mean, it's well, at this point, I would expect that. But you didn't put like a 350 in it or no, something? No, no. No, it's only got 88,000 miles on it. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's a clean ride. Yeah. I'm glad you still get some joy out of it. Oh, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Was this you with all your friends? No, but that top <laughs> left picture is me with my cousins. The top left picture. You in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I do. This car was only three years old. <laughs> nice. My name Matthew Hummel, All right, and Matthew. again, I've had this Sunbeam Tiger for 47 years. 47 years, we were just chatting about it. It's certainly not a ride I see very often at all, so uh, what year is it? It's a 66, 66. and um, it's something that they made 7,000 of them uh, 55 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and I've had this one for 47 years, and I've done some upgrades throughout the car. Well, they, and I don't know much about the Sunbeams. Were they made to like compete with the MGs and the Triumphs? Or mm -hmm. They were designed by Carroll Shelby, yeah. Sunbeam Tiger, and he put a Ford V8 driveline in an English sports car. Okay. That Similar to that a Cobra. Okay. So it's called the poor man's Cobra. Because <laughs> Cobras ran around $6,000 new. This came with $3,500. Yeah. 
price. Well, I, I knew it was technically an American car, uh, even though we go to a lot of events. It's not something I see very often. And you've had it all these years. What condition was it in when you got it? Uh, it was not real good. I got it for a good price because the guy took a hacksaw and <laughs> hacksawed the wheel wells. Oh goodness! Gracious. So he could put the big meat underneath this oh. to keep it on the ground. <laughs> so he took a hacksaw. Hacksawed it, and I, of course, got a good price. He wanted to make sure those tires were locking up when he took off. Yes. <laughs> the problem you have with the suspension on this, guys would wrap these tigers around trees a lot. Yeah. So, to keep, to alleviate that issue, a person would want good traction. Yeah. So as a result, the uh, big fat tires, and then I fiberglass with a friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, the wheel wells to make it look nice. Wonderful. And what what motor did they come with? They came with a small block 260. Okay. And it died in the 70s. Then the 289, and it died in the 80s. And then the 302, built 302. At least you kept it Ford, right? It's small block Ford <laughs> stock. Because if you look right here, they have the Pentastar, and that means that this car used to be a Chrysler product. Oh, goodness. So the English company called Rudy's Group got bought out by Chrysler. Chrysler did not want a small block Ford in their product. <laughs> That's the end of the Tiger. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate your time today. Nice meeting you. channels about custom culture and we finally have some custom culture here at the event and this is outstanding ourselves a T-Bird with a hard top convertible. I think I've only ever seen one of these on the fair lane before. That's crazy. So they took a, the, the, the top of a Skyliner, converted it for a soft top, and used the, it the on mechanism. the mechanism. The mechanism, yes. Great. I would say that's the only place I've ever seen one like the this. The trunk is virtually useless because the, yeah. the top is in, the, in there. The, the, it takes yeah. up the entire. I, I mean, I couldn't even get that. I could barely get that cushion in there. Probably <laughs> flat. Well, I love it. I, I, There's stuff in there. <laughs> it's 62. That's when they were trying to go for that spy look. Yes. Yes. It's gorgeous. Well, they have the raised uh, fiberglass on the back seats. Yes. Oh, that, that's a, the, you know, James Bond was the thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? You can sit back there. It's a couple bottles of wine. <laughs> this is actually only the second car show I've been to no? with a car, so. And, and uh, you said you had to get on four flights to find one like this. Yeah. And a lot of people <laughs> said, man, that's a lot of time and money. I go, yeah, you know, some folks will go to Vegas for a weekend. So no, I you just, came, but you were You the wanted winner. your dream car. Yeah. Well, it's one of them. One of them. I, I got a 63 Galaxy XL convertible that sits right next to her that I bought when I was 20 years old. So, oh, nice. Uh, my next birthday, I'll be 66. So, yeah. Galaxy 500, baby. Yeah. Even the Reverend Horton Heath sang about that. <laughs> so, do you remember the mini micro car show in 2019? I do. You got it to ride in a King Midget. Yes. But you got the original one, and someone has chopped one up and turned it into a rat rod. <laughs> A king midget that's been turned into a rat rod. <laughs> wow. 
The vintage mini cars just keep going. Really cool. No, this is uh, back in the day. Yeah. Oh, wow. so, so this is the third one ever in the U.S. This is the third one in the U.S. And okay. I think uh, we had just we had. Are they imported. from Japan? These are made in Sweden. Sweden. Saga, Sweden. Okay, the other side of the other pond. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. We had a we have a friend up north, Jason. You might know him, Jason Milson. And wasn't the, the 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 concept behind these, if I understand, it, was literally that like they want something that somebody could a second car to go get groceries with. That's right. And <laughs> simple to drive. Not not a lot of groceries, by the way. <laughs> no. uh, but these were made for handicapped people and elderly oh, people. Okay. Yeah. So, especially if you didn't have a full garage. Right. So, there you go. Wow. Don't need a garage, but... There you go. But I love how the, you've got the windshield wiper, but not a windshield. Yeah, the wiper <laughs> I have, but it, the windshield's being but made. But you're getting so. the windshield made. Yeah. Right. I love it, man. That's great. Two-stroke? Two-stroke, uh, 49 cc. Uh, opens up from the front. Kind of like an I Isetta. Exactly. So you're sitting on top of the motor. Yep. Down here. It's a motor. Oh, that's fun. So it's basically like a like a little like a little moped. <laughs> it's the future of Ford. In my head. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We go all the time, and usually I'm dressed. More than most people. Well, oh, I'm always that way anyway. I found the future of Ford. Right the, it is the future of Ford. <laughs> Maybe. Or it's. Adorable. <laughs> Look at that. You even got a toe. You got a man. You got your dad towing you and everything, buddy. Kids got yeah. the life. You got the life. Hey, throw it back. Is that a Henry J? That is a Henry J. Oh, yeah. We did some super rare cars work. today, folks. Yeah. They, they're exactly the same, yeah. same yeah. except for the trim package. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Uh, Henry J. You had to buy from uh, Sears. <laughs> right, yeah. But Make only sure in certain thing. southern super states. Super in there. But oh, okay. <laughs> they were not available all around the country. Well, I was growing up in Denver. So well, how are you doing today, fine sir? I'm doing well. Thank and what you. is your name? My name is JR. And where are you from? Uh, right now, Woodenville. Woodenville, okay. Yeah. So not too far away. And what have we got here? Uh, my uh, 1958 Oldsmobile Super 88. I love it. I, I, I love the color scheme on it and all of that. So how long have you had this? I bought this car in like 97. Okay. Yeah. Or uh, The Reverend Horton Heat era, as I call it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it was like the little nickel era, you know, like the pre-internet. It was yeah. uh, on the side of the road for sale for for a month. Oh, probably. goodness. Probably, yeah. I was just driving by it and so Talk to the guy. what did it look like when you got it? Uh, it was black all the way, different black color. Mm -hmm. um, same hubcap, same interior. Yeah. Um, the interior looks original. Yeah, it's the original interior, and it's hanging in there pretty good. It's you know it's got some got some more wear through yeah. the years since what are you I bought it. Under the hood on this? Put in an LS swap because I'd been dealing with the uh, original engine just having too many problems with the new gas every year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I wasn't driving it that much lately, so did the swap well, you so I the could swap so you could drive it around. Exactly. There you go. I mean, I, I, I respect that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, it's amazing. You even got a sticker Betty on the side of it, and and, and yeah. uh, I, I like all of the pinstriping on the back, the little yeah. details. Yeah, thanks. thanks. <laughs> all right, man. Well, thank you for bringing this today. You bet. I appreciate bet. it. Yeah, nice to meet you.
here in Seattle because they bring in yeah. more than cars. I mean, they look even at this bring boat. in the vintage boats. Oh my God! I mean, we're right next to the ocean. I can smell it from where I'm at. Uh, I would ride in this boat. Wow! Look at that. That's great. Look at this, it's pretty. Bossa Nova.